Hello, and welcome to the integration workflow video, Engineering Intelligent Valves with ABT Site. We are going to demonstrate how the solution partner will benefit from the following features. Offline engineering, templates, mass creation, and application and device overview. The main tasks involve configuring the application templates, adding the devices, and modifying the instance-specific values. The project's building hierarchy consists of three air handling units. Each air handling unit has a cooling coil with an intelligent valve installed. To guarantee the most accurate supply air handling temperature delivered by the air handling units, the intelligent valves must be parameterized with the value shown in the table. The system topology comprises a PX automation station and the three intelligent valves. The job site specification requires the intelligent valves to be controlled via BACnet IP. The network plan shows all relevant information needed for the communication, such as types and host names, IP addresses and subnet mask, BACnet names, descriptions, and device instance numbers. With this information, the engineering can begin. The overall project is created in XWorks Plus. The project already includes the instant-initiated PX automation station with the three configured air handling units. We switch to the network configurator to confirm that the network settings are correct as they are key for the communication between devices. The address range of the IP segment needs to include the addresses of both the PX Automation Station and the Intelligent Valves. As we can see, the PX Automation Station has already been created, but the Intelligent Valves are missing. To engineer them, switch to ABT Site. With ABT Site open, we start the engineering by configuring an application template. Navigate to the Building tab and from Add Device menu, add an application template. A tab called Configuration opens. We can select a template from our project if one exists, or we can select a template from the library. We will create a template based on an Intelligent Valve Standard Template. If the Intelligent Valve Standard Templates are not part of the library yet, run the provided installer file to import them. In this demonstration, the commissioning and balancing are done by the same company, so we will use the template with balancing parameters. We click on the Add Template to Project button and give the template a name and a description. This template is added to the project, and we can start adjusting the standard template according to the specified application. The adjustments involve the configuration of the hardware inputs and outputs, and the values of the BACnet parameters in the application template. The configuration of the hardware inputs and outputs can be left as default, since we use BACnet IP for both the setpoint and the feedback signal. The BACnet parameters in the standard template come with default values. Following the specification, some of the parameters need to be adapted. We change the control mode to power. And set the design temperatures to the specified values. Notice that the changed values appear in bold font. The column Available on AS allows us to make parameters visible and editable on the device instance level. We only select the parameters that deviate from the default to more easily keep the overview. With this last step, the application template is configured. Next, we add the three intelligent valves. In the Building tab, Two conditions must be satisfied before we can add the devices. 
First, a building structure is required. If there is none, one must be created. Be aware that Dezigo CC displays the building hierarchy of XWorks Plus and not that of ABT Site. Second, the BACnet and IP ranges must be entered if they have not previously been set. We are now ready to add the devices. We click on the Add Device button to open the window. In this section, we add a device via an application template. This template can be from the project, the library, or any external project. Let's select the template we just customized and click on Next. This loads the application. We define the number of devices in the toolbar. It is possible to modify the parameters in the tabs available here. From the BACnet tab, we adapt the BACnet device name, description, and the index number. From the address tab, we adapt host name, IP address, and index number. Although the information entered for Areas and Equipment ID is related to troubleshooting and maintenance and not relevant for communication, we should still add some meaningful information here. In this section, we see a summary of the devices and the modifications. We click on OK to add the devices below the building level. Finally, we need to adapt the unique BACnet device instance number. The listed intelligent valves are updated with status modified. In the steps to follow, we modify instance-specific parameters of each intelligent valve according to the specification. To do so, we switch to the Application and Device Overview and choose the Application Template. In the Instance Parameter tab, we find the parameters that we mark to be available on the device instance level while we were configuring the template. The changes made to the values of these parameters are applicable to this device instance only. Let's adjust all the parameters that deviate from the template. In our case, we only need to change the relative maximum volume flow present value for each valve. We are now finished with the engineering of the intelligent valves. To learn about engineering the PX Automation Station, check out the next video.